tell you this much y'all better chill with this um shit going on between china and whatever business they got with these other countries potentially going to war and shit because based on this video right here if that was to happen in the future chinese china would kick our ass right now what's going on youtube is your boy Rome back with another video if you're new to the platform welcome to the tribe by the end of this video i hope you subscribe and just when you thought it couldn't get worse with that video going viral of the girl singing sexy red wait till y'all see this next video man Copyright, y'all. Copyright. And they even got boys there. So for y'all ladies who be over there, uh -huh. why come these young boys seem so sassy and so soft? Wait a minute, what the hell? What is that? You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. Yeah, man. Y'all want to know why the dynamic between men and men and women is the way it is? We could start right here. We can start with the women teaching kids who look like they haven't even who kids, women who have girls who haven't even hit puberty yet. You over here teaching them 304 behavior. How to dance on a pole. Like, look at this shit, bro. Look what she's showing her. Forget show you know, forget home ec, forget showing a girl how to how to cook a meal from scratch. God forbid she learns how to any do anything that's beneficial to a family or a husband. No. Teach her three oh four behavior so that way she can um know how to bust it wide open. That's what they value. That's why you got young women now who can't even boil water. You know what I'm saying? But they, but they know how to pop it on a handstand, though. This is nuts, man. This, this, oh, my God. I would not be shocked if most of the women, if not all the women there, are single moms. Ain't no way in hell you going to tell me a single father is going to be cool with this shit. I would never be, I would never approve of this if my, if the mother of my children wanted my daughter to, or, or son to do this. I'm not going to go there. If I go there, I'm going to sound like Lil Boozy. Let's keep it moving. 
Do you guys have hierarchies in your family? Yeah, my dad, what he says goes. And that's, that's how it should be, right? And, you know, I honor and I respect him. What the f was that? If a woman on. Do you guys have hierarchies in your family? Yeah, my dad, what he says goes. And that's, that's how it should be, right? And, you know, I honor and I respect him. What the f was that? What about your mom? My mom is right under my dad. You know, it's my dad, my mom, and then the children. That's how a family... So what, she has to follow what he says too? She may disagree, right? And they might have a but discussion, she has to follow they might talk. But at the end of the day, the man has to lead the family. How did I let this big-ass red flag slip? Like, if he shot that and asked this question, I would not have known... You just can't say those things about black women. Why are you gay? It, they already have a tough time in the world itself. Paige is upset, and rightfully so. Like, he shouldn't have said that. Who says I'm gay? You are gay. The question was, do you believe in hierarchy? And this idiot wants to say, you can't say things like that about black women. This is the product of single motherhood and the Willie Lynch letter. In this frozen psychological state of independence, she will raise her male and female offspring in reversed roles. And I think that's what you have going on in the West. And... I don't think it's just black women. I think it's single mothers, period. Think about this, man. Women make it very clear that they don't want to be told what to do, no matter how much a man knows. So here's my thing. Ladies, you can't complain about men being softer when y'all are doing everything in y'all power and making all this effort to have sole power over your children especially your sons because if your sons don't have a masculine presence around and you're always have always having him surrounded by all this feminine energy what do you think is going to happen what do you think that's going to happen to those boys that keep going to those stripper pole classes they're thinking they're, they're going to think it's eventually they're going to think it's okay for them to do that themselves and then they may get confused about their sexuality. God knows what happens if they go down that rabbit hole. But this is where it comes from. It starts with the single motherhood. And y'all are raising y'all girls to be 304s and take stripper pole classes and chase the bag. And then at the same time, y'all are raising y'all sons to pretty much accept that kind of shit and accept a woman's bad behavior because she can't do no wrong and she don't don't and she don't know no better but you can't tell her what to do because you don't know more than her yeah i know that i know that sounds like a lot man but none of it makes any damn sense which is, which is exactly why let's keep it moving and y'all aren't where y'all need to be in y'all 20s. So what the fuck are we talking about? Y'all act like y'all are the complete full woman in y'all early 20s. That's the point of getting together, building together, growing together. But see, y'all don't do that. Y'all don't want to put the work in with a man. Because number one, y'all don't even know how to pick a man with good characters and morals to build with and to begin with that process anyway. Because y'all mamas didn't teach y'all, nor did they show y'all and lead by example. They told y'all to go to school and get a degree. They didn't teach y'all how to go to school and seek and find a man. Y'all too busy lining up outside the athletic department instead of lining over there at the engineering department, at the pre-law department, the med school department. That's where y'all need to be looking for men. But no, y'all want to chase the football, the basketball, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, the baseball, the, the, the Q dogs, the alphas, the whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's where y'all be at. That's where y'all be at, because there's plenty of little white girls that come out of school, Asian girls that come out of school, you know what I'm saying, in their early, mid-20s, and are married. But it's crazy, because all of this, it's, it's all about proximity and who y'all hang around to keep in y'all circles. Because all of my friends that are married right now or have gotten married in the past two, three years, all are getting married and are married, these are all black people, to women they met in college or men they met in college. Most of them got together after grad school or a year or two after grad school. So you're in your, what, mid-20s, like 24, 25, 26. That's three years of dating. They start talking about they got engaged probably around 27 and married by 28. So what are we talking about? 
Just say y'all don't know no better. Just say that you don't know how to pick. Stop lumping folks because people out here doing this shit. Y'all don't go seek them people out. Y'all don't get go and talk to them people to get advice. Your for you page don't pop up with those type of people because that ain't what you're looking for. But if I was a young dude in 2024, I wouldn't want to settle down with y'all either. Why would I have to? Y'all don't have no requirements or even demand shit from men to even do that. Y'all give it up for a goddamn Chick-fil-A sandwich. Y'all want to run around and have hot girl summers. Y'all not trying to commit either. So what are we really talking about? You, We literally had a conversation two weeks ago about the dude break the, the, the trail to trainer and the food conversation. Women was up in arms about bringing a man a four for four bag. Would Even despite going over to that man house and they was going to give him some coochie, neck like a motherfucker, they would rather do that at that man house or at a man's house then bring him a foe for foe. So what are we talking about? You got women, men aren't mature in their 20s. You got women with the personality of a social media baddie, an Instagram baddie, a, 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 a real housewife. Get their entire persona from social media. But men aren't mature. At the end of the day, men are going to adapt and do what is required of them to get women. So if y'all don't have a standard and you're not demanding things from said group of men, why would they want to do it when they can get everything from y'all and not have to commit, not have to put in no work? All they got to do is stand up, be tall, and probably throw a little money your way. But see, that's my point. The fact that you're not willing to put that work in and build and grow with the man is why y'all be where y'all at. Y'all want to wait at the finish line. And then when y'all at the finish line, y'all are all used, misused, abused, scorned, torn, and worn. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not even preserving yourself at for the finish line. So what? <laughs> you got women in college call, calling men broke. No, sh their, their fellow peers in classrooms with them broke. No shit, they're fucking broke. You broke. Women that work at call centers will look at other men in the call center and call them broke. You broke. Bruh, that's how delusional women are, bruh. The same thing used to happen at my job. I'm thinking to myself, like, hold on. Ma'am, um, you ain't got no business calling anybody in here broke. You entry level. Like, I make more than you, and we in the same place. The hell you talking about? Most of the people in this place making the same amount of money. If they broke, that mean you broke. I, I'm, I'm telling you, bro, the way these women mind work sometimes, this is why I say all the time, I'm glad I'm not a woman because I would hate to think like that. I would hate to think Ill 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 illogically, man. It just, oh my God, bro. Just, just trying to comprehend the way they think make my head hurt. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I don't know how the hell that makes any sense to them, but okay, let's keep it moving. So I was scrolling on IG and I saw this girl is going viral again for saying, if you drive these cars, you're not date worthy. Hey, but if a guy picks me up in certain cars for a date, I'm just not going. Like, I'm just not going. Like, I'm sorry, but you can't tell me if someone pulls up in this. Hold on, put it on the screen. Hold on. This Prius. You're, uh-uh. No, I'd rather not go on a date. I'm sorry. Like, I can tell by... Now, obviously, in 2023, tons of people have ridiculous standards. But why I think this video is going viral again is because it actually hit a lot of people close to home. Because, yes, obviously, you cannot tell a lot about a person based off the car they drive. Unless they drive, like, one of these smart cars, and you know they're obviously most likely, you know, a very tiny person. But I think everyone deep down knows the car you drive does say something about you. So this video is going viral because it actually hit a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? They felt like, damn, bro, I drive that car and she's dissing me. But at the end of the day, one person's standards doesn't fucking matter. I mean, I drive a 2015 Toyota Camry, right? Which is like the cousin of a fucking priest. And if this girl says she doesn't want to date me because of that, oh, fucking well, who cares? I don't want to date you either. And if people had that mindset, these types of videos wouldn't go viral and this type of person wouldn't get the attention they so desperately crave. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. What I think is, is that that woman either needs to change her mindset or stay single. I don't know what the hell. See, and y'all wonder why I don't be on social media like that. 
Y'all wonder why I don't be on social media like that. This is exactly why. Because all I see is delusion and bullshit on social media. Really? Just because of the kind of car he drives. Man, you got women out here screwing men that don't even got their own car, let alone a damn Prius. Girl, bye. In theory, a good woman sounds good, right? Having all her stuff together, um, maybe having a degree behind her belt, got her own. But then once you get something, you know you're not up to par. Mm -hmm. You know you can't level up to be on the same level as she is, so you back away. Well, hold on, I, I, I just have to go ahead and give the opposite side of that, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know you personally, baby, so this is not geared towards you, okay? Right. But how do you know if you are a good woman? Mm -hmm. And the problem is when women step into relationships and say, I'm this great woman, it's hard for a man to come in and do anything that will register as love for you. So if he feels undervalued, he's going to run. And most times as women, because I'm guilty of this, had all my stuff together, I thought I did. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is I was unreceptive because I had it all together. Mm -hmm. So I thought there was really nothing. I didn't realize because sometimes I feel like, okay, you should just come in and fill certain voice, but I didn't realize that that man was actually an enhancement so I didn't value him I didn't show him that he was appreciated and acknowledged and that's when he ran for the hills and sometimes we do that as women because we tell ourselves on, we have it all together and we don't mm. now I ain't guilty of that no more but I used to be yo and this is why I love Kitty Rose so much first of all good lord that woman is chocolate and beautiful but um, I, I'm like I, I like how she admitted she was like I was guilty of this, but not anymore because she's married and got children now. Like she good y'all. But what was interesting is the other um girl because I think the other girl name is um Kita or something, and she always give these very uh biased opinions because I found that very interesting. Uh, that she was so quick to belittle a man in this situation and I'm, I'm glad that they have her on that panel to kind of give the other side because when it comes to panels like that bruh typically most if not all of the women are like the complete opposite of, of how the men are thinking so it's, it's, it's nice to have that balance on their panel man but uh, but but it ain't no surprise that she happens to be the one that's married and, and the other ones tend to have biased opinions and they're single but the one that actually advocates for men and thinks about men and not just women she happens to be the one that's married on the panel a coincidence i think not but i digress let's keep it moving so a few days ago, I made a video saying the things that I do for my husband that most modern women wouldn't agree with. And y'all, when I tell you the comments had me dead, the amount of people who are so flabbergasted that I consider my husband my leader and that I ask him for permission before I do certain things is honestly quite shocking. For one, I didn't understand why so many people were so pressed about a relationship that has nothing to do with them. And for two, I don't understand the fuss that a lot of women have with a woman considering the man that she married her leader. I mean, why wouldn't you marry someone whose judgment and leadership and guidance you can trust? Why is it a comical thing to respect your husband so much that to even ask permission before doing certain things just to make sure he's okay with it is something that's deemed as comical or oppressive? Like, why do y'all get so angry when you see a woman respecting her man? I mean, listen, y'all could be Miss Independent if you want to, but one thing about me, I learned from my foremother Eve. I'm not trying to be like her and disregard anything my husband says just to do my own thing. No, I'm going to make sure my husband is okay with everything that I do. And this is my marriage, not yours. So you don't got to be big mad in the comments because I'm chilling. I'm happy. I love my man. I'm living stress-free over here, baby. And here's my question, man, for women who, who, who seem to think this way. What should a man expect from a woman? That's what I want to know for the women who think like this, who want to hate on women who actually give a damn about their man, who actually do for their men and actually respect their men. What do what should men expect from women then? Because it seems like anytime a woman is doing anything for a man, y'all got an issue with it. Emotional damage. But whenever a man doing for a woman, no complaints no fucking complaint we're not your fucking servants 
to be brutally honest with you according to the bible it's supposed to be the other way around you ask a lot of these other cultures it's supposed to be the other way around hence why passport bros exist but god forbid any man that wants any kind of traditional roles or values in a relationship he's a problem god forbid any woman that wants to be with a man that's like that she's a problem she's oppressed she has eternalized misogyny all these other little buzzwords that y'all come up with to shame men and women for want for actually giving a damn about one another i don't know what it is with y'all women that y'all y'all act like a relationship ain't successful unless the man is putting a woman on a pedestal and doing everything for her while he's getting very little in return why do y'all women see that as a flex why do y'all see that as a dub and then y'all wondering why those men are uh, got two three four side chicks but you know what i ain't gonna go down there because then i'll i'll be i'll be going on a rant for another five ten minutes y'all let me know what y'all thought about this man if you're new to the platform please subscribe ogs i appreciate the love and support make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way y'all know what i'm uploading hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience also look out for the travel vlog channel unplugged traveler link is in the description as well as my latest mixtape neo trap volume 2 and if you want to purchase any of the merch the spreadshot.com link is in the description until the next video you guys deuces